All right, so good afternoon, everybody, everyone. Uh, BSIT 3.1. So now we will just continue the second part of the first topic in IM 102. So we will just have a review. So last meeting, we discussed about the entity relationship. We also discussed the attributes, the en entity, what else? Relationships and the relationship sets and the cardinality. So moving on, we are now going to continue our topic, which is the second part of the first topic. So what is an ent entity relationship diagram? So an ER diagram or entity relationship diagram is a conceptual model that gives the graphical representation of the logical structure of the database. So ER diagram is a visual representation of data that describes how data is related to each other and it shows all the constraints and relationships that exist among the different components. You also have the symbols and notations. You will also use symbols and notations. Next is entity set. What is an entity set? An entity set is a set of same types of entities. So an entity refers to any object having, number one, either a physical existence such as a particular person, office, house, or car. Number two, or a conceptual existence such as a school or a company. So an entity set may be of the following two types. Strong entity set. A strong entity set possess its own primary key. So meron siyang primary key. May sarili siyang primary key. Then it is represented using a single rectangle. Ito yon. Next is weak entity set. A weak entity set do not possess its own primary key. So, wala siyang primary key and it represented using a double rectangle. Ayan. So, this is a weak entity set and this is a strong entity set. And then actions. What are actions? Actions are represented by diamond shape and show how to how two entities shared information in a database. So this is what an action looks like. So ito yung diagram ng actions. In some cases, entities can be self-linked like this one. For example, employees can su supervise other employees. Attributes. An attributes are represented by ovals. A key attribute is the unique distinguishing characteristic of the entity. For example, an employee's social security number might be the employee's key attribute. So this is an attribute. So ito yung shape ng attribute sa diagram ninyo. A multi-valued multi attribute can have more than one value. For example, an employee entity can have multiple Skills value. Ayan. Example, first name, last name, middle name. I isang entity lang yun, yung nga lang, multi. Multi. <coughs> Marami siyang attribute, pero isang. Or isang entity lang. So, a derived attribute is based on another attribute. For example, an employee's monthly salary is based on the employee's annual salary. So this is what a derived attribute looks like. Connecting lines. So what are connecting lines? These are solid lines that connect attributes to show the relationship of entities in the diagram. So these are the connecting lines. Yan yung nakikita ninyo. Cardinality. Cardinality specifies how many instances of an entity relates to one instance of another entity. Ayan. So, ito yung entity. Ito yung symbol ng entity. Ayan. Ay, cardinality, I mean. Ayan, cardinality. Yun yung symbol ng cardinality. While cardinality 
specify the occurring or occurrences of a relationship, ordinality describes the relationship as either mandatory or optional. So, yung pinagkaiba ng ordinality from cardinality. In other words, cardinality specifies the maximum number of relationships and ordinality specifies the absolute minimum, yun naman, minimum number of relationships. So, that is how cardinality and ordinal ordinality differs, differ, differs from one another. <clears throat> Information engineering style used in ER diagram. So we have the relationships, cardinality, and modality. So symbols, we use this one, this symbol, meaning or more. This one is one or more. Third one is one and only one. And the last one is zero or one. So tandaan ninyo tong relationship na ito. Ito lang yung pwede ninyong gamitin. Alright? So apat yon. Zero or more, one or more, one and only one, and zero or one. So kapag nakita ninyo yung mga symbol na yan, alam nyo na kung anong ibig sabihin yan. And then cardinality and modality. Many to one. So this is the symbol for many to one. Meaning, a one through many notation on one side of a relationship and one and only one on the other. So, ibig sabihin, marami sa kabila, sa kabila naman, ay iisa lang. Okay. So, yun yung relationship nila. Can have many, while the other one is only one. Next is, a zero through many notation on one side of a relationship and a one and only one on the other. Next is, Okay, ito naman, a one through many notation on one side of a relationship and a zero or one notation on the other. Next, a zero through many notation on one side of a relationship and a zero or one notation on the other. Yan. So that is many to one. Susunod. Again, many to one. So this one, a zero through many on both sides of a relationship. So many on both sides of a, a zero through many, from zero to many on both sides of a relationship. So pwede dito zero or marami. Dito lang pwede zero or marami. The next one is a one through many on both sides of a relationship. Pwede siyang isa or marami. <clears throat> Next, third one is a zero through many, one, many on one side and one through many other on the other. Ibig sabihin, sa kabila, zero. Zero through many, zero hanggang marami. Sa, one, sa other side naman, one or many. Ayan. Then, the next one is a one and only one. So, dito, one and on, only one lang ito. One and only one. Notation on one side of a relationship is a zero or one. Okay, zero or one. Ayan. Ito naman, a one and only one notation. And this one is also one and only one. So, this one is zero or many. Ito naman, zero or many. Ito ay zero or many. Dito naman eh. One or many, one or many, one or many, one and only one, zero and only one, one and only one, and one and only one. So, tandaan ninyo yan, class. Alright, so that ends the second part of our discussion. So, thank you for listening. So, if you have questions, just chat me. In, i-chat nyo lang ako sa Microsoft Teams if you have question regarding about the topic. So, thank you very much for listening and participating in the discussion. Have a good day and God bless.